people aren't aware of personality disorders. They don't know what it would look like in someone else or in themselves. Um, and if people have been dealing with a personality disorder since early adolescence, it's been normalized for them. So they're not going to go talk to a psychiatrist or a therapist about it. I know a lot of people, they always hear, exercising is great for your body. Here's another reason, you should always exercise just because your body treats you the way you treat it. And so I think that's a very important reason you guys should exercise, not just for that great body for the summer, but also for your headaches. When there's a fainting or seizure event that happens during their a sporting event, it can happen, typically you think of that game-winning shot at the, um, in a basketball game and then before you know it, everyone's cheering and you see the, the guy who shot the jumper on the ground. Another big part with prevention is just being prepared for emergencies. And I think that's a big part of like these deaths that happen is people not knowing, education, and then not being prepared or not having someone there that should be prepared. People with disabilities aren't usually taught sexual education. So when children are like put in these situations, they don't realize that what's happening to them is wrong because they didn't have the prior knowledge of what consent is and what a healthy relationship looks like. So in 1971, Title IX actually passed a law which is saying that women can also play any sport that a man can. So first off, girl power. Secondly, we kind of started seeing trends in the 70s and the 80s that women were starting to become, you know, more hurt than others because they weren't having the proper nutrition that they needed. I think we all believe prevention is better than cure. We value an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And not too long ago, there was a 36-year-old electrician in Illinois that died his first day on the job from heat stroke. He was working out in the elements and the company that he worked for did not have proper uh, heat stress education for their workers. If you're doing exercise outside, do you want to monitor the heat and the humidity? I mean, we are in Texas, we know how hot that heat can get. And also you want to look at your hydration levels, what your body's telling you. Whenever your body's telling you, hey, I'm kind of thirsty, uh, you're already dehydrated at that point. 